Hi friends, Glenda Vollett here and welcome to my craft room tonight. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator located on the west coast of beautiful British Columbia. I live on Vancouver Island in a little community called Port Alberni. So we're on the coast, but we're up uh, an inlet, so not really on the coast. I know, it's confusing, but here I am. So let me just let me just pop over to Facebook, make sure that um, I'm streaming over there. And while I do that, I will show you the card we're going to make tonight. This card uses a whole bunch of gorgeous foils. Sorry, I'm over there. <laughs> Can't do two things at once. I'm sorry. There we go. I got it going. All right. It is streaming and everybody. There we go. Hey, Lena. All right. So, and Valerie, hello. There's a card. So we have the gorgeous Forever Love designer paper in the background that's got vo gold foiling on it. And then gold foiling or gold foil. And then this is the distressed gold paper. Hello, Nadine and Yvonne and Pat. Look at that. So lots of gold happening. Now, I'm going to try to tell you which of the products that I'm using tonight are retiring as we go. This paper, Forever Love, is retiring. The Distressed Gold is retiring. Hey, Connie, I am sad about that because I use that one a lot. But we do have the oxidized copper, which kind of is the same. So is anybody else like foiling and foils and distressed gold? And like, look at the bling on this. And it's a really simple card wonder if I did the ribbon. I did not. It just hit me. I did not prep that piece of ribbon. So let me just grab the ribbon. Grabbing it quickly here. This, this ribbon, this is the Pretty Peacock and Gold metallic ribbon, and it is not retiring. So we get to use that. The embellishments are not retiring either, which makes my heart just sing. I'm so happy. Hello, Norma. Okay, so, oh, chocolate. Grab a chocolate. We got the sugar free variety, chocks, choco, chocso, lemon cream cups. No sugar in those. There's uh, chocolate, and then there's chocolate with caramel. If you don't like chocolate, there's a few Werther's in there, some little itty bitty Tic Tacs. Grab your favorite. I found another celebration cookie. Oh, and a Toblerone. Don't forget the Toblerone. Hershey for Valerie. Hi, Janet. All right. So um, as we go, I will be telling you about my two classes that I have. Registration is open right now. Trusty Tools. Now, if you're part of my club, we did Trusty Tools. These cards are completely different. And you don't need the bundle to make these cards because it the class comes with at least a half a package of the trusty toolbox designer paper because I collected a lot of it. So if I have the number of participants that I have packages of the paper, you'll get a full package. If I go over that, then I'm going to go back down to half a package. So you can do the cards even though you don't have the, the bundle. So registration is open for that. I'm going to be using tonight Pretty Peacock and Petal Pink, the Pretty Peacock and Gold Ribbon that I showed you. Notes of Nature, because I want to use this and this in the background here. Now, red dot means retiring. I'm sad. This one is going. Uh, I did a little crying. The greening is from Go To Greetings. Now, Hi, Wendy. Oh, Lena wants the chalk, 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 so what, however you pre, uh, pronounce it. There's good. Love notes of nature. Me too. Go to greetings is retiring. And if there is anything on that retiring list besides thoughtful expressions, dies, 
that I could recommend you rush out and get, it's this stamp set. It has been one of the most versatile stamp sets I have used in the past, was it been out like <clears throat> two years, two and a half years? It is amazing. Happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note and thank you in three different sizes and three different fonts. And then there's a bonus, hello. Highly recommend that stamp set. Gorgeously made dies. These are also retiring. Iridescent, iridescent foil gems. Now I use them on here. Can you see them here? And I left them clear, but because they're clear, you can color them any color you want. These are not retiring. But I brought out the pretty petal pink, pretty peacock foil gems. They're exactly the same as the iridescent foil gems, but they already have color in them. Let me just get them out so I can show you. Um, these iridescent foil gems are my favorite because they're clear and you can color them any color you want. But they made them in petal pink and pretty peacock so you don't have to color them in those two colors but if you can only get one pat one kind of embellishment this is the one hello kathy jean yes but i'm going to use these tonight i'm going to use the colored ones because i decided i wanted a little bit more color in there after i made the card okay um and notes of nature dies part of the bundle now the dies and the stamp set are retiring okay we have a basic white card base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and folded over hello carol welcome have a piece of basic white five and a quarter by four for the inside and i didn't show you that but i will there we go and this is the stamp from the notes of nature bundle. I love this stamp. I've used it quite a bit on the inside of a whole bunch of cards and on the envelope as well. Okay, and then I have a piece of the Forever Love designer paper that is five and a quarter by four. So there's the foiled side and there's the non-foiled side. So, then I put a piece of gold foil that is three and five eighths by two and three quarters. And I layered that with a piece of Forever Love designer paper that is three and a half by two and five eighths. So this is the same pattern. I'm just using the reverse side of it. Then I have a piece of pretty peacock that is two and a half by four. And I'm going to layer a piece of basic white on there that is two and three eighths by three and seven eighths. Then I have a piece of distressed gold. I didn't put adhesive sheet on there. I think I'll do that before I start because it'll make it go faster. Hello, Eddie or Edie. Yes, hello, Edie. Oh, I was so excited to meet your daughter down in Houston, Edie. Sherry, right? I think I'm sure her name is Sherry. So this it dress dress gold is three by four, and I'm going to do the die cut. Then I have a one by four ish piece of basic white for the sentiment. Okay, so let's first of all let's get some get some um, adhesive sheet on the back. Are these two pieces going to fit? Yeah, that would be good enough. So you know how to use this adhesive sheet, right? If you, let me start out with a full sheet because then I can tell you how easy this stuff is to use. So this piece of Distress Gold is three by four. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer out. And I'm going to cut this two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So I've been doing my Stamping 101 class, which is for new to stamping people. And I've been showing them how, 
how to think about your paper or your cardstock before you cut it to maximize it. So I'm going to cut it at four inches because then I can get two, three inch pieces out of it instead of doing it at three inches and then going four and then having a little tiny bit left over. Then so that was three and seven eighths, and now this is two and seven eighths. So that's the piece I'm going to use. And these ones are going to go back in my in my bag. I have multiple packages of this on hand at all times because I use a lot of it. Anytime there's an intricate die, I use it. So you turn your paper over. And sometimes you're lucky, and this has the score lines or the scare lines. Scared, 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 scared. I don't. Oh, okay. It is Eddie and Sherry. Yes, thank you. Okay, so if you have that, then it's easy to put it on. But if you don't have that, then you need to go to a corner and just stick your fingernail in between the two layers. One will peel off without adhesive and the adhesive stays on this side. So then I just roll it back a bit on one edge like that, because if you touch that, it takes all of the adhesive off of there and it'll be on your fingers, not on your paper. So take, Fold it back and hold it like that on the liner and then line it. Uh oh, oh, apparently I made it too big. Hang on. Oh, well, this isn't three by four. That will do it. Okay. I'm just going to hack off a little bit. Because I only, I cut it at three and three quarters instead of four. Okay. So we'll go back to where we were. Fold that back. Avoid touching it, then line it up on the edge. And I make it an eighth of an inch smaller. The adhesive sheet is an eighth of an inch smaller than what I'm putting it on so that it doesn't hang off the end of the paper and get glue everywhere. Because when I put it into my card kits for classes, I don't want it sticking to end everything. There we go. And then I have it on there. And then I, I don't really have to do this right now because I'm cutting it right away. But then I do this on it. That reminds me that there's adhesive sheet on that and don't cut on that side. Hi, Sherry. Yes. Sherry's daughter or Edie, Eddie's daughter, Sherry, is here. Yay, I was just talking about you. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. Okay, so there's adhesive sheet on that. Enough chitter chatter. Let's get at her. So I'm going to grab the die from Gorgeously Made Dies and we'll cut this out. And it will have adhesive sheet on the back. So it'll be really easy to attach to the white piece after I've done all the stamping on it. All right, up it moved. So I had to go, I had to go to Courtney today, which is about an hour and 10 minutes down, an hour and 15 minutes away from where I live for an, an appointment. And so I got a hold of my friend Brenda that lives up there and I said, hey, let's go for lunch. So we went for lunch and we were bad because we don't go out for lunch as often as we used to anymore. I don't know about you guys, but very rarely do I go out for lunch anymore. So we both had French fries and oh my goodness, I enjoyed every mouthful. It was wonderful. She had a quesadilla and I had a beef dip. And I had the beef dip because I could take the bun off and have just the beef and the dip. It was good. Okay, so there's my die cut. Oh, thank you for sharing my video, Cindy, and anybody else that would like to share my video, I would appreciate it. 
Okay, so I'm going to do some stamping on this piece now to do that background. So let me grab. And if you're enjoying my video, please hit those emojis and let Facebook know that you're enjoying it. Okay, so I have Petal Pink ink. Do you guys remember Sahara Sand? Do you remember that? Well, we are getting basic beige. I got my stuff today. And if you're good, I'll show give you a little sneak peek of some of it tonight. But we got basic beige. Now, it's a bit yellower than Sahara Sand was, but it's going to be nice and light like um, Sahara Sand used to be. Now I use Petal Pink. And if you want it lighter, then um, just stamp it off. I didn't stamp mine off. I did it full strength. But I think I will stamp off the crosshatch part just to show you the difference. So I'm just inking up and randomly stamping. And you know me, and I mentioned this many, many times. I don't do random. Random just doesn't work with my brain. So there's the there's the cross hatch. You can barely see it. And then I'm going to take the dots. Valerie still has her Sahara sand. Nice. I'm going to take the dots and full strength add them. And I'm turning the stamp as I'm adding them in there. Just so it adds a little bit of interest. There we go. So that's all the stamping with Petal Pink. So while I'm stamping, I'm just going to grab this piece and Petal or Pretty Peacock will stamp Happy Birthday from the retiring go to greetings. I will not be getting rid of this stamp set. I like this one and I will be keeping it for a while. So full strength, pretty peacock. Oh, and I've got three draws to do tonight. Don't let me forget to do them. Oh, wait, I need to still do that. I'm going to bring my list out so that maybe I'll remember. I have this fear that I'm going to forget tonight. I don't, I'm, I'm tired after my trip this afternoon. Okay, envelope, a few leaves up there, and I'm just going to go ink stamp stamp. I didn't do that on the original one, but I think it looks cool. Do you do, Nadine, I am sad too. I love that stamp set. I will continue to use it. Ink stamp, stamp, stamp. Ink, stamp, stamp, stamp. When I was doing my Stamping 101 class yesterday, we did the ink, stamp, stamp, stamp technique, and they loved it. I love doing that with new stampers because it's one of those wow things that is easy to do. Okay, so this is one of the dies from the Gorgeously Made Dies. And I'm going to cut out my sentiment. Oh, Nadine used hers today. Woo. All right, let that run through the machine. Now we can start some assembly. Sure. I popped into um, Costco this afternoon, grab some prawns for dinner and ice cream because they have ice cream, not cones. What are they? The Nestle's, you know, the, they're cones. Coronets, the Coronets. I bought some of those. They have those on in Costco and they are really good. Okay, so I want to put the ribbon around 
the first three layers. So I'm not going to put it onto my card base just yet. I am, however, going to layer the piece I stamped onto the pretty peacock one like this. Every once in a while, you know, it's nice to make a card that's got lots of pretty layers on it. And not a lot of techniques and stuff. Now, I do believe you guys have asked for, asked me to show you how to do this technique, and it's coming. I think. It's next week. The 4th of April is when I'll be doing that. So, but only in my VIP group, not, not in my page. It'll be a third, one of my Thursday thoughts techniques. Okay. So I have my designer paper layered with the gold foil and I'm going to put that on to the designer paper. So the cl my classes for May, because April registration is closed now for thoughtful expressions. Okay, this is going to go in the middle, up and down and sideways and hopefully be straight. Let me just make sure. Nope. Um, so the first one is trusty tools and it will be um, Wednesday, May the 15th. It is $40 for the kits. You get cards for, uh, kits for three cards, plus the brushed metallic dots, adhesive back dots. Now these, those um, embellishments are on the retiring list. I need, what do I need? How much of this? Oh, I didn't even write it down. Okay. You need about that much. Um, it's on the re they're on the retiring list. So if I can get them, then they will be the brushed metallic dots. If I can't get them, then I'm going to substitute with something else. Hello, Renee. So the Trusty Tools is part is my monthly tutorial subscription for me. So if you are part of that. It will be going out the beginning of May for you. So I'm gonna, I put, I put some um, stamp and seal down each side so that when I fold my ribbon over, it grabs it and I don't have to fuss around with it. And then I line it up on my grid paper and fold over the other side. And then it's, it's there, it doesn't go anywhere. But I don't like putting stamp and seal over top of it because it can move your ribbon. So I'm just going to grab my a couple of pieces of parent tape and put that over top. It just holds your ribbon and it doesn't ever move. So trusty tools, Wednesday, May the 15th. Buy the bundle from me for $110, which is the price of the, the class is $110. And then you get card kits for the three cards and the embellishment at a reduced rate. Oh, it's a good thing I put my phone on. Do not disturb because the phone is ringing. Um, $40 for three kits plus the embellishments or $110 for the bundle plus the card kits plus the embellishments. And both of those options get at least a half a package of Trusty Toolbox designer paper. Now, if I have to mail it to you, it will be cut to 6 by 12 unless you want to pay the extra postage. So I will pay for the postage for the, the kits if the paper is six by 12, and if you want it left at 12 by 12, then you will pay the difference between what I'm paying for and what the actual postage is. Okay, so I've got my adhesive on there. Let's just remove 
that excess ribbon off the back because it's really not necessary back there. There we go. And so registration for that is open until the 20th of April. There we go. And the other class I'm having is a, I'm calling it, hi, Carmen. I'm calling it a free-ish class. It is not part of my monthly tutorial. It is an extra class. And if you buy the Magnolia bundle through me between now and the 12th of April, actually, it can be any time. Then you'll get the class for free. You will get kits to make the three cards for free. Okay. So I just put adhesive over the part that's going to sit on top of this pink because if you put it out to the very edge, then it's going to hump over top of that. And I don't like it when it does that. But that's just my preference. Doesn't mean you have to do that. Okay. Now it's going to be straight, right? Sure. Um, so, and if you don't buy the bundle through me, like I understand a lot of you are demonstrators and you want to buy from yourself and that's fine. $35 will get you the kits to make the three cards, or you can pay $25 and get the tutorial only option. That way you prep your kits and then you come and join me virtually at 630 on Wednesday, May the 29th, and we'll stamp the cards together. So I'm pulling my liner off there. And now this is so much easier to put down than it would be if I didn't put that adhesive on the back. Because there we are. We're done. That's some dimensionals. And I'll use the big ones because I can. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want that one over that far. So the, it's going to hang off the edge here, which means it's going to be at least two layers of paper lower on the right side than it is on the left side. So I want my, my last dimensional. Let's see, where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it right about there. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put that last dimensional here so that it goes on top of all the layers and doesn't go off of the layers and end up oh garbage can doesn't end up humping. I got this real thing about having curved stuff on my cards apparently. There we go. So there's our card. See that didn't take too long. It's only like 728 and I've been nattering away for a half an hour. And we have the card done except for the bling. So let's put the inside in. And don't forget, I'm watching the comments. Hi, Marsha. I'm watching the comments. So if you got any questions, ask me about classes, about the card, about anything that's retiring, about the new catalog. You can let me know if you want to, a sneaky peeky of a couple of the products from the new catalog because I got my pre order today. There we go. There it is. Now let's get, let's use the colored, the colored bling. I'm going to just gently pull it off of that piece of paper or tape so I can lift it up and put it. Oh, yes. Uh huh. So there's all, usually a piece of tape in there. And what I do is I take, I take something. There's a piece of spare piece of paper. And I just put it over top of that so it won't stick anymore. But sometimes when you you persuade those to let go of that tape, they pop off and it's never a good thing. Would love a look at the new catalog. Oh, I can't show you, Pat. I'm not allowed to share the inside of the catalog online. Well, thanks, Kathy, Jean, and Carmen, Connie, for your kind comments about my card. All right, let's use some pretty peacock. Pretty peacock. What do you think? Do you like the colored 
embellishments or do you like the the clear ones? I think I need a couple of more embellishments on here. Let's add a couple of pretty and petal pink ones in there. There. Yes. Used lots of bling. Hi, Wendy. Thank you. Thanks, Marsha. Oh, new products. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Connie says she wants to see them. Hey, thanks, Eddie. There we go. So there's the card. Now tell me, which embellishments do you like better? Do you like the colored ones or do you like the clear ones? There they are, up close and personal. Colored embellishments or clear embellishments? And while you're deciding that, I'm going to do the draws. And then I will share a couple of the new um, stuff, a couple of the new stuff from the catalog. Not all of it, because we'd be here all, on, all night. Oh, I got to go back and read the comments. Janet says, simple, elegant, awesome card. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Norma wants to see new products. Thank you, Wendy, for commenting on my card. Nadine likes the color bling. Sherry loves the color combination. Me too. Marsha likes colored bling. Yvonne likes colored. Carmen says it's hard to pick. Both look great. Lena likes colored. Carol colored. Sherry, I like it with both colors of the bling. Colored stands out better. It does. So it, I guess it depends on whether you want it to stand out or whether you want it to be in the background. Okay, so I have share it Saturday for March the 16th, March the 9th and March the 16th, because remember last week I was late getting home from Calgary and I didn't have time to do the draw. So we're doing two tonight and I'm doing the draw for the 50% off item. So let me just clear my workspace here so I can, First of all, flip you around so I don't make you seasick when I take my phone down. There we go. Oh, you guys. Wendy likes colored and Cindy likes colored. I guess everybody likes the colored ones. But remember, if you could only get one embellishment, get the clear iridescent foiled gems and you can color them with your Stampin' Blends and have any color you want. Purple is awesome, just saying. Okay, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go here, and we're going to do add something on my phone. I couldn't see what I was doing. Share it Saturday for March the 9th. So I'm going to delete that and delete the row, and I'm going to shuffle once, shuffle twice. And the winner of March the 9th, Share It Saturday, is drum roll, please. Whoop, 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 whoop. Pat, Pat H, you get, you won the draw for Share It Saturday on March the 9th. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Next one, Share It Saturday for March the 16th. Delete the heading, delete the row, hit shuffle once, twice. And the winner of Share It Saturday for March the 16th is... Um, da -da -dum. Drum roll, please. Oh, 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 Peggy. Way to go, Peggy. Congratulations to Pat and Peggy for winning the draw. That's awesome. Okay, so I set the duck race up for the 50% off item. We've got 18 seconds on here. And are you ready? <coughs> Just a minute. I need to take a drink. As you know, I usually do commentary. All right. Here we go. And the winner of tonight's 50% off item. Now, the only stipulation in this is you have to be from Canada because I can't order product for you if you live in the States. I'm sorry. Here we go. And the race is on, and here comes Holly coming up to, for the win. Maybe she'll go. Oh, look at Karen, Julie. Everybody's starting to go. Oh, look at Carol. 
Woohoo! Who is it going to be? It is going to be Carol. Congratulations to Carol. Carol D. Now, Carol Demert lives in Port Alberni. And I will be in touch with Carol if you're not watching. And Carol didn't tell me what she wants yet, unless she told me and I just didn't go and look at it. You know, because that happens all the time. I never had time. And I was late getting home from Courtney today, too. But I had all of this stuff ready to go before I hit the road this morning. Yes, congratulations, everybody. And thank you so much for continuing to enter your gorgeous projects. Like, doesn't have to be a card. It can be anything. In the Share It Saturday, I love what, seeing them all, seeing what you can come up with. They are gorgeous. And sometimes I look, but I don't comment. But I always go back and comment eventually. Okay, so now let's look at some new stuff. I'll flip you around. No, hang on. Hang on. You want more chocolate while I get the product out? Here, we'll flip this around. And you can have some chocolate or some candy. And I'm just going to bring my, I have a whole container of new stuff. You see? Hang on. Look. I got a box of stuff. Now I've already shared the new in colors. But I will share them again. I'm not going to share everything because we could be here like all night, right? So tell me, stamp sets, embellishment, new colors, designer paper, what do you want to see? The first two answers is what I will show. Stamps, paper, ink, or embellishments. Which of two of the four do you want to see? I haven't even opened some of this stuff. Oh, I haven't opened any of this stuff yet because I got home really late. Stamps and paper. Nadine has no place else to be. <laughs> oh, Renee's eating Dove chocolate. Yum. Okay, stamps and paper. All right. This designer paper is called Thoughtful Journey. Let me flip you around because. You know, you don't need to see me. Now, this is along the lines of Meandering Meadow, but it's got different colors in it. And holy man, alive, this stuff is gorgeous. Look at this. So we have, look, look at the amazing colors in this paper. This is just, stunningly beautiful paper look what do you think unfortunately it's only six by six but i understand because this would be really difficult to do in 12 by 12. pull it down a bit here look at this gorgeous paper and it's got fall colors in it and it's it's in the annual catalog, so it's going to be available for an entire year. We're going to be able to do fall cards, spring cards, summer cards. Isn't that gorgeous? Sherry Lynn, did you do a pre-order and have you got yours already? Because I know you were at on stage with me. Look at this. And this could be underwater too. That looks, that could be underwater. It doesn't have to be on land. Look. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Next. This is kind of wintry colors, this one. That kind of looks like snow or frost. Oh, Sherry Lynn. Sherry is expecting hers tomorrow. 
Yes, got to have me some too. All right. Did you do a pre-order needing? Have you got yours yet? Look at this. This is going to make a stunning Christmas card, people. Look at this. Oh. I, this is the first chance I've had to really look at it. Isn't it lovely, Carmen? Look at this. Water and ocean and a pond and have some gorgeous flowers in this one. But look at the the sky. Look at that. Yes, Sherry. Ah, Nadine got an order too and she hasn't received hers yet. Sherry says, this paper is really lovely. I love that it has colors and scenes for throughout the entire year. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This looks like thistles. Last one. Oh, look at that purple on the other side. Woohoo. Yep. That's a yes in my book. Which is probably why I ordered it, right? Because <laughs> I didn't get everything. I did not get everything. So in the pre-order, we can't order everything in the catalog. There's certain things that we have access to. All right. So this is in color glimmer paper in the new colors. Oh, Lena says yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we have. We have peach pie and, uh-oh, I was going to say berry burst, but it's not berry burst. Hang on. Petunia pop. Now, this is rough paper. This is not the smooth gli glimmer, smooth shimmer paper. This is the rough glitter paper. And then pretty in pink. And Shy Shamrock and Summer Splash. Look at the gorgeous color of that. Ooh. So that's the in color glimmer paper. And then we also are going to get textured metallic in bright copper, gold, and tungst tungsten. So this is the copper, and it's got a bit of a texture to it. Can you see the texture there? It even feels a little bit texture-ish. It's like it's been scraped. And there's the bright gold. And this is tungsten. Now, we've had this before, this um, paper, in that it was three different colors of silver. We had matte and foil and apparently tungsten, but who knew that that's what the name of it was? I didn't know. Okay, so that's textured metallic paper. And then we have, this one is thoughtful design specialty paper, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Petunia Pop, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. And this is paper that kind of has foiling throughout it with a pattern on it. And I don't know. it. it oh, it is too. So it's ombre. It starts off in this color or in this corner as straight color now let me get those colors out again i don't know what color they say this is clips of coral maybe and so it's colored here and then when it gets down to this corner it's more like petunia pop 
It's really hard, difficult. To, can you see the ombre color in there? Maybe the next one you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So this one is pink and it goes into um, misty moonlight. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? And then we have Calypso Coral. And it's lighter up here and then it gets darker down towards the bottom. And the greens. Is this coming across? Are you able to see the... So this is mossy meadow and wild wheat. So it starts out wild wheat and then they add mossy meadow and it gradually goes down to mossy meadow. Are you guys able to see the difference in the colors? Look at that. Oh, and pretty peacock and lost lagoon. Okay, so there's the, there's the light corner going down into the dark. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Whew. I like that paper. Yes, please give me that one. It doesn't do the papers justice. Yes, I know. You, you can't tell online how gorgeous this paper is. Oh, hang on. I'm going to put it back. Yeah, swoon. <laughs> I hear you, swoon, right? This one, Sherry Lynn likes this one. Look at that. Oh, it's got something, it's got a color in there for everybody. If you like pinks or purples or blues or greens, they're all in the paper. Okay, so one more paper to show you. This is. This one is Country Woods Designer Paper. So there's no foiling or anything on this. You get, it's the usual 12, 12 by 12 sheets. Hang on, this stuff is in my way. Move, thank you. Okay, so this is like peeled paint. Can you see that? But it's flat, it's a photograph. It, it plays with my mind. And then, oh, that's pretty. And then we have distressed black. Oh. So who else is, is loving these papers? Nice wood green. And there's more peeled chipped paint on the other side yes much prettier in person i agree nadine oh renee likes it oh distressed wood grain and then on the other side of that is chipped paint it looks like it looks like really weathered paint on the other side this is lovely and there's the one, then the other side. Oh, yes. Oh. You've missed this one? Ooh. Nadine. I put another order in on the 2nd of April. We get to order more. And there's this one. Poor bank account, says Eddie. <laughs> I agree with you. Sherry says, I just had to have this whole suite. Those papers are so nice in person. Love the wood greens and distressed look. Me too. Me too. I agree with you. Now, as for the whole suite. I don't know. Country woods. I think I did too, but I can't. Sorry, I can't show this to you. Country, country 51, whoops, 
Oh, right. Yes, I have the whole suite too. Well, except the embossing folder. It wasn't, and I didn't get the ribbon because I don't, maybe I got, no, I didn't get the ribbon, but I have the two sets and the paper. So I, the, I got one of the sets. So this paper that I just showed you, this paper, this paper goes with country flowers and the dyes and in here somewhere country birdhouse so this one i did a class down there and we got this stamp set nadine has a long list already <laughs> i bet you do renee says she's going to spend more money than she should i uh, know well I got a bonus today because I was participating in a training a training group and they've decided to shut the group down. So I got a refund of almost $500. Guess where that's going? So this one, isn't that cute? And you should see the, the dyes. See, I haven't even opened these yet. I save those, I recycle them, I use them for card kits for classes. And there's the there's the dies. So you got the birdhouse, you've got different layers for the birdhouse. There's birds, there's a a hangy thing with a bow in it, some flowers. This is a stand if you want to stand your birdhouse instead of hanging it. It's gonna be fun. Yes. Renee, it would make a cool fence to put the birdhouse on. You're right. So this is the this is part of the suite. There's also embellishments, but you guys didn't ask to see the embellishments, so I don't know what I should show them to you. Which ones are they? Here These are the pearls. They're um, smoky slate and basic gray that go with these two sets and the paper. And then there's ribbon in petal pink and white. And I don't know why I didn't order the ribbon. I guess it'll give me something to order on the 2nd of April, right? Okay, so that's that paper and that's those two bundles. Now, what else did I get? I'm having an avalanche here. Um, I got this one, but this was my prize patrol at the convention. And it's exciting because I've seen some really cool stuff done with that. Then I they have Oh, Lena's order is $1,000. It's not hard to do, Lena. <laughs> Sherry says she sees two, possibly three pre-orders. I know, because you order stuff and you think that's what I want. And then you get it. And you think, oh, why didn't I get that? And I really need to get that. And then people start sharing samples and stuff. It's the, yeah. Um, so this is the Simply Said stamp set. And... I think it's going to be a replacement for the go-to greetings. It's not exactly the same, but it does have some birthdays, thinking of you, let's celebrate, miss you, thank you, just a note, hello. So that's that's a good versatile stamp set. That one. Now we'll save that for the end. And then I got thoughtful wishes as my 50% off thing. There is no PDF, Renee. They're not doing PDFs anymore. So when you log into your website, there'll be a banner at the top that says pre-order and you click on that and it lists all the stuff you can get. There are some floating around out there. Um, some people have made lists 
but stamping up is no longer giving us lists of pre-order stuff. So I've got thoughtful wishes because I really like some of the leaf dies and it's got some good stuff for inside. Dearest friend, thinking of you, appreciate you. And you know me and dots. It's got dots. I was, I was sold at the dots. So that's thoughtful wishes. And that one I will show you in a sec. I got the unbounded love dies, but I didn't get the rest of it. The dies are gorgeous, Lena. And we're losing a lot of our leaf dies, so I needed something to replace them with. Okay, better hurry up here because we've been an hour. These are unbounded love dies. Look at this. Look at all those gorgeous sentiment dies. And there is nothing in here that need, you need the stamp set to go with. You have ovals and circles and long, thin rectangles. This is a funky shape. And then there's some leaves. And then this one is got leaves and then it's got straight edges too. So unbounded love dies. I think I'm going to use those a lot. Now, my summer creative escape is coming. And I am collaborating with my friend Leanne and my friend Kathy. Now, they were the two people that I roomed with when I was at on stage. Um, Shanna, one of my downline that I collaborated with the past two times, has a prior commitment already, but she's going to participate as much as she can. And then um, Carla, her life got really busy. So she's, I told her, don't worry about creating. You can come and do the in-person part. And she, so she's going to be involved, but not creating for it. So Leanne is using this bundle, I think, to create. Maybe she's still thinking about it. I'm using this one. It's called Under the Moon. Isn't that pretty? And you know, when I was unpacking this paper, this is going to be cool. If you get one of the one of the ones where it's like a a water scene and stamp these on there and sunset and silhouette, sunsets and silhouettes. So that's the other one. And then Kathy wants to use layers of beauty. Now you're probably thinking, oh, ho hum, another stamp set. Yeah, but it's not. It comes with masks. So right now we've got one um, stamp set that the, we use masks with. I don't have it. So I was excited to see another one because I'll be able to do this one. So you do the stamp and then you put various things like these line up somehow. I'm not quite sure how. Anyways. You do the stamp and then you put this on and you do one color and then you put this on, put that on and then you put this on top and it does another color and then this one goes on top and it does another color and then this one goes on top and it does another color. So they have numbers on them. Can you see there in the, there, can you see right there? It says five. So there's five and they each have a number tells you which order to use them in. And then they have the little groove here. So you just line the grooves up and you do various sections of the flower to put different colors on with your blending brushes or sponge daubers. And then there is also dyes to go with it. So I've set the date for my for the summer creative escape in person is going to be June the 1st. And if you're not already part of the our creative escapes Facebook group, then you need to be. So let me 
Let me write that out so you know which one it is because there's, oops, there's a couple of them out there. So it is creative escape with an exclamation mark. Now, and I don't think it's creative escapes. I think it's creative escape. So um, head over there and join that group because things are starting to happen in there. Just let me, okay, it does have an S. Creative escapes. And things are starting to happen in there now to get ready for the creative escape and Regist that's where registration will be announced as soon as I get it up and running. Masks of enduring beauty. That thank you, Pat. That's the that's the one we have now, and Pat's done a lot of gorgeous cards with it. I have I didn't get it, but now June the first, Lena, Saturday, June the first for in person. Okay, so that's what they are. So there's going to be masculine. There's going to be flowery. And then there's going to be cute. So that's why we're not quite sure if Leanne is going to do this one. So I asked her if she would do cutest cows because I haven't done that. And it's going to be in the catalog. So if you were to sign up for the creative escape, what do you think about cutest cows? She makes the most amazing cutest cows cards. Look, this is one of her cards we're using cutest cows isn't that adorable and i think this would be a perfect card for the creative escape what do you think would you like country flowers or cutest cow bundle so you're not going to have to have these um the bundles they're you will get goodie bags and goodie bags will be full of stuff, but you're not going to have to purchase them. You're going to come, you're going to make the cards and you're going to have fun. Cutest cow, cow, cow. Oh, I'm going to tell her you guys are one of the cows. Okay, so we have a new size of, of embossing folder. This is the So Swirly embossing folder. Look at the size of this. This measures eight and a half by six eight and a half by six inches so just to let you see that's that's a card that's the card we just made look how much bigger this embossing folder is than the card okay i will tell her cows i want her to do cows too because i don't have it i need an excuse to get it right what do you think about this new size of embossing folder it will go through our machine um because our our machine is about six and a quarter inches wide i'm not sure that it would go i in fact i know it would not go through the um the green one what's the green one the green machine called not a cricket what's that really old one that we had you know it's green and i'm not i don't know whether it would go through the big shot or not because the big shot is not as wide as our machine is so if anybody has the big shot and has this the new size embossing folder i would love cuddle bug thank you sherry yes it will not go and wendy good it will not go through the cuddle bug it's too wide but all you would have to do is just trim it you know somebody who's got some shears they could snip it off yes cuddle bug exactly okay so there we go i got some new stuff um of course i've showed you the new in colors already and i am excited about these colors these are my colors i love them and then there is the there is basic great now i am going to have an in color club. It's going to start in May. 
going to run May, June, July, August, and September. And with a possibility, you can add on October and get the basic beige stuff. Your list got longer. I don't know why they have the big one, except that it's going to be really good for um, scrapbooking. And they announced today that they have put out an offer to Close to My Heart makers because Close to My Heart is closing down. So they have given them an offer to join Stamping Up. So we will be increasing our product line to include um, more scrapbooking supplies. And I think this is one of the first steps in that. Okay, so we have, just to reiterate, we have the trusty tool class on the 15th of may we have the magnolia mood class on the 29th of may i have the creative escape on the first of june and i have the in color club starting on the first in starting in may so we're going to have what happens is you get cardstock ink pad re-inker stamp and blends of say summer splash and then each month i'm going to add specialty paper or the markers or designer paper or something and it will get shipped direct to you and then i create two cards using the color of the month and if you're local you can get together with me in person and if you are not local we'll get together virtually at night to create the cards together so i'm working on all of that stuff And our life is going to be very colorful this year because the new in colors are amazing. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. I know it went a little bit longer than normal tonight. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to share my video if you are, um, if you think your friends would enjoy my video. And hit those emojis if you're catching the replay. Thank you. I appreciate it. And if you're watching um, me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button that's right about there. It's a big red button. And it will let you know whenever I upload more videos. Oh, Nadine. Wouldn't that be nice if uh, we could make it work for you in Texas? <laughs> good night, Yvonne. And good night, everybody. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend time with me. I will be back on Thursday night with a fun fold. It's a wiper card. It's been a while since I made a wiper card. This one is going to be gorgeous. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I will see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now.